four knockdowns in three rounds <laughs> with one hand box side Too strong that, that russian dude is strong that's the fight i want next me blood clot if i tell you i'm good probably you will say i'm supposed to but if i tell you i'm no good you know one line <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We have some news <laughs> that's going to add more salt to the wound of the already beaten, bloodied, and devastated Tim Zhu, man. What the fuck just happened? Bakram Mertazaliev and his head trainer, Roma Kalantarian. What did he say? Hey! Forgive me if I butcher his name. We're going to try this again. Roma Kalantarian, he has stated that not only did Bakram Murtazaliev knock down Tim Zhu four times on the way to a three-round route of Tim Zhu, he did it with one hand, man. Damn. I'm sorry. Why did he do it one hand? Well, it's because his right hand was broken one week before the fight. And Bakram, being the soldier that he is, he said he didn't want to pull out of the fight because, you know, it would have looked bad on his name. And the fact that he's already 31, he wants to make sure that he takes advantage of all the time he has left in the sport, especially at the top of the sport, you know. So he went forward with the fight, and boy, was he right. He took a chance, you know, and you know, see what I did there? He was right, you know, even though he didn't use his right. Well, you know, one of his most devastated punches is his right hand. But how did he get the job done? Well, he threw a large amount, a high quantity, <laughs> a large volume of left hooks. And the left hook got it done, man. And, you know, so um, a lot of punches that he did throw with his right hand, it hit him and his coach, they said, that, hey, man, you know, I was trying to throw some right hooks because I could throw it, you know, with an open slap in motion as opposed to uh, the full fist. Because according to them, his pink, his, the knuckle on his pinky was, was you couldn't even see it. It was so swollen and, and, and broken. So, man, that's just... I don't know, man. It just adds fuel to the fire that's already going on Tim Zoo right now, you know, and um, I just think it's it's kind of embarrassing if you're Tim Zoo, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter you, 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 whether, whether you win or, or you lose, you know what I'm saying, how it happens is, is, is sort of inconsequential, you know what I'm saying, so this is, this is just... You know, is adding to the lore and the legend of, of Bakram Murtazaliev, but it doesn't really change the outcome much if you're Tim Zhu, you know what I'm saying? So you just dust, you just brush it off your shoulders and keep it pushing. But like I said, I do think Tim Zhu could, could bounce back, and I think he will, man, because 154 pound division is a tough division. And what's the caveat of being in a tough division? Well, you know, it's hard to stay at the top. But the plus side, the pros to being in a tough division is that you are just one or two wins away from being right back in the mix. And I think that's where Tim Zoo's at, man. He can always bounce back. You know, shout out to Tim Zoo, man. And um, and, and, and when it comes to Bakram Murtazali, a lot of people are saying, hey, man, you know, people are scared of him now. Nobody wants to fight him. Shut up, bitch. You know, you know, you know who I'm talking about. You know those YouTube channels that claim to tell the truth. You know, while 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 they're spewing nonsense. You know, well, oh, you know, according to the other fighters, they said they want to fight him. Check out what Erickson Lubin had to say about Bakram. He's strong. He's tall. No, did he? And he looked a little durable. So. That's the fight I want next. I want that. I wanted that fight before uh, Tim Zhu got him. So like, I don't know what people think supposed to transpire after he won. It has not even been a week yet. How are we saying that these other fighters, particularly number one pound for pound Terrence Bud Crawford, is ducking a guy that you didn't even hear of up until seven days ago? You know what I'm saying? And now somebody's ducking him. What do you think, Terrence Bud Crawford, Jamel Charlo, Israel Madrimov, uh, Sebastian Fedora, Errol Spence, and them? They're supposed to, as soon as Bakram wins, they're supposed to hop in the ring and hand him a contract for. A, for to schedule a next fight like that's not how boxing works you dumbass <laughs> that's not the business model of boxing at all so i don't know where everybody's getting this nonsense and spewing this nonsense about people being scared of bakram i'm not saying bakram is not a formidable fighter he definitely is and if you're gonna be scared of anybody <laughs> you should be scared of the guy that destroyed tim zoo in three rounds on one hand <laughs> I think that's the guy you should be scared of, you know, but these guys are warriors, you know, what I'm saying these guys and girls that participate in the sport of boxing that we love, you know, as a pugilist enthusiast, we should always give them the benefit of the doubt of being fighters and warriors and demonstrating that. And we should be a little more reluctant to claim that some people are ducking or implying that they're scared of one another. You know what I'm saying? Give them, give, give them their props. You know what I'm saying? So unless you see something that unequivocally states that they're afraid of somebody, then I think you should refrain from using that type of, that kind of verbiage, but you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do it 
what you do on the other channels. That's why we keep it real around here, and that's why you rock with me. But yeah, so Erickson Lubin wants to fight Bakram. Do I think it's a good idea? Uh, yeah, I always think it's a good idea, man. He's a title holder. Go chase that. You know, Erickson the Hammer Lubin is a good fighter. He only lost to two people. He lost in devastating fashion. He lost by knockout to Sebastian Fedora. <laughs> Sorry, he lost by knockout to uh, Jermel Charlo, and then he lost by stoppage to Sebastian Fedora, so he didn't finish the fight. It was both, uh, you know, uh, 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 stoppages, so uh, that doesn't bode well for him, but he has some good wins against Jesus Rabos, you know, and people say it's controversial or whatever, but he's a good, formidable fighter, and if he wants Bakar Murtazali, I think it's a good fight. Now, do I think, you know, Erickson Lubin, the American of Haitian descent, coming right out of my backyard of Florida, you know what I'm saying, one time for the Floridian, you feel me? Yeah. Do I think that he wins? Uh, I think it's a very tough fight. I would lean towards Bakram right now, but I think Erickson Lubin has a chance, you know? Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! Uh, I would like to see the fight if it does happen, you know? So, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Do you think uh, Bakram uh, and Erickson Lubin, if they fought, do you think that Erickson Lubin has a chance? Do you think Bakram washes him? And do you think the other champions at 154 are scared of Bakram Mertazale? Also, what do you think about this, uh, this, 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 this new information in regards to Bakram doing what he did to Tim Zhu handicapped? That's crazy to me, man. Shout out to Bach Roberts and Zali, man. You know what I'm saying? We wish Tim Zoo all the best, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me as always. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.